Simple Technique to Cinch Your Intuition by P. L. Chang, January 29, 2013, from Energy Fanatics website. Learning to sense your intuition can be tricky, but it is not as hard as you may think. Before you can sense it, you need to first believe that you have an intuition. Next, you need to understand what it is. What is intuition? What does intuition mean? The meaning of intuition can be translated into many things. The definition of intuition from the perspective of dictionary.com is a direct perception of truth, fact, etc., independent of any reasoning process, like... I just perceive the earth is flat, you know, dude. In specific terms, your intuition is part of your higher senses that allows your body to synthesize emotion and energy codes in a linear pattern. This process allows your conscious mind to process the emotion energy codes, which in turn gives you the perception of feelings. Your intuition is a knowingness within you that comes without explanation or proof. This knowingness takes place at the cellular level and beyond. I totally get that. Those of you who make and drink Ormus know what that meant. Your intuition is a knowingness within you that comes without explanation or proof. This knowingness takes place at the cellular level and beyond. Raise your vibration in that cell fluid, that cytoplasm, baby. Some of us like to refer to it as the gut feeling. In other words, your intuition is your subconscious bringing forth of a sense of knowing into your conscious awareness by way of feeling or thought. It is important to know that your intuition is not limited to the area of your gut because it sometimes can come from within every cell of your body. How to sense and develop your intuition. Learning to sense your intuition can be hard because it is, because it is sometimes difficult to tell if it is your intuition or ego that you are sensing. To make sure it is your intuition that you are sensing, you need to know how it feels when it is communicating to you. This process is very important for developing your intuition. Your intuition will usually communicate to you in a subtle way. A lot of the time, it will communicate to you when something is wrong or a bad event is about to occur. Try to remember a negative experience that you've had in the past. You may want to choose a negative experience that occurred not too long ago. Before the negative experience happened, do you remember a feeling within you that urged you in a subtle way not to take action? Boy, I'm thinking of a, a little voice I had that told me not to drive down this one road one time, and uh, I wish I had listened. This feeling will usually feel like something is not right. Try to remember exactly how this felt. This feeling is usually your intuition telling you not to take action because something bad may happen. As you think back to your negative experience, try to remember all the details before and after the experience. Think about how your intuitive feelings were communicating to you. Once you learn how to sense your intuition... The next time it tries to tell you something, you will know that it is your intuition and not your ego or some other entity. The simple technique that I mentioned above may or may not work for you. If it does, keep practicing the technique because it will strengthen the connection to your intuitive feelings. The next time you are about to go somewhere and you feel the subtle urge within you that appears without explanation or proof telling you not to go, you may want to think twice about not going. If you do go and something bad happens, reflect back to the exact moment when you felt the subtle urge and remember this exact feeling. After a few times of doing this, you will know when your intuition is communicating to you. Another thing that can help you strengthen your intuition is to use the previous technique to help you play guessing games. Why you should learn to develop and strengthen your intuition. Your intuition plays an important role in your life because it is there to guide you and achieve your goals in life. By achieving your goals in life, you will feel happier and your life will feel like it is going somewhere instead of in circles. Once you become good at using your intuition, you can use it to help you find the right partner or friends. When you first meet someone, try not to let your emotions run wild and try not to be nervous or fearful. Put yourself in the observer mode and then look at that person right in the eyes. When you are about to shake her hand, with the help of your intuition, try to sense that person's soul or vibe. If you feel a lot of negative intentions or negative energy coming from that person, you may want to stay away from her unless negative experiences are something that you enjoy. I'm Alex Aquarius. That's the Plain Mundane Show. You have a great day and learn how to follow your intuition. Ciao.